I'm John Wary. I'm the director of the Institute for Immunology and chair of the Department of Systems Pharmacology and Translational Therapeutics here at the Perlman School of Medicine at the University of Pennsylvania. I'm also associate director of the Cancer Research Institute Scientific Advisory Council. CRI, or the Cancer Research Institute, is a nonprofit that funds the best and most innovative cancer research in the field. And at the core of CRI's mission is really to fund the most innovative fundamental science and immunology as it relates to cancer. What CRI has created, however, is a community of the very best and brightest young innovative scientists and has tracked them through their careers, creating a community of the very best and brightest cancer immunotherapy and cancer immunologists. A new type of therapy for cancer, immunotherapy, is really curing many cancer patients, but there's still a lot who don't benefit. So our research efforts are aimed at not only understanding how to combine different immunotherapies to have better effects for more types of patients, but also discover the next big change, the next part of the immune system that we can turn to target cancer, and the next ways to target cancer types that don't seem to have immune involvement and bring them into the sphere of being targetable with immunotherapy. As we treat more patients, we generate more and more data. We generate data on the research side, on the clinical side, and the scale of data we're generating is increasing exponentially. One of the great challenges, but also one of the greatest opportunities for the future of cancer immunotherapy is to develop better and better tools to mine that data. The bioinformatics and computational biology of cancer immunotherapy is really the future of the field. CRI does several things that are really distinctive and critical to our field of cancer immunotherapy research. First, CRI has always been among the best at identifying the next young superstars and the young talent that will be the future leaders of the field and fund them at the fellowship stage and then track them through their careers, bringing them into the CRI network. The second thing is the CRI network, the group of people that's, that are associated with CRI, that CRI looks at as the community of cancer immunotherapy. Those great scientists who have devoted their careers to understanding how the immune system works and how it can be applied to cancer. The third thing is that CRI has really recognized the importance of creating uh, opportunities and platforms for large-scale data and using those platforms to make that data available for the whole field of cancer immunotherapy. The importance of data science and informatics in the future of cancer immunotherapy cannot be understated and, and Cancer Research Institute is really at the forefront of creating opportunities to democratize that data and make it available for everyone. CRI has always been the place in the field where innovation lives. It's always been the place where you see the next bright star, the next leaders in the field innovating and driving their ideas to therapies and to uh, really change in the field. So what I really look forward to is the next big idea coming from someone funded by CRI or someone in the CRI network. What CRI has been fantastic at doing throughout its existence is having its finger on the pulse of the field and identifying the next big thing before anyone knows it's a thing. And that's where CRI really stands out as a leader in the field of cancer immunotherapy.